I can only dream of being as productive as writing 1,500 words a day, and I'm a professional writer, so... Um, <laughs> do you yeah. do a lot of staring at a screen unproductively? Enormous amounts, enormous amounts, and uh, I think creative writing takes a lot longer to write. There's a whole book here, 250 pages or so. Clearly yeah, you'd... well, I've, I've managed to write three full books, um, so, you know, I do it in agonising spurts. I find it very difficult. Well, it works. <laughs> <laughs> at least at a published level. Gaia Vince and Jumana Haddad have been our guests on this edition of Weekend. We hope you enjoyed the programme. We hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thanks very much for listening. Stick with the BBC World Service if you can. Bye-bye for now. This is the BBC World Service asking if we can really change the weather. The idea of being able to bend the weather to our will is an enormously appealing one, and the world is spending millions of dollars on it. There have been efforts to change hurricanes and tropical cyclones or burning fog off a runway. Controlling the weather has a new urgency. So how does weather modification play into climate modification or geoengineering? There's a wide range of different examples. There are ones that are about reflecting the proportion of the sun's light back into space. And then there are another group of ideas called carbon dioxide removal. Do we know for certain that weather modification... ...you wouldn't been able to prove it? I would say... Oh.